Hi guys, my name is Sanket Thakkar. Welcome back to my channel. I am making a series of videos based on technical analysis and their professional application. Today I am going to discuss about a function called log and linear charts. So let's go into the detail and understand what it is. Okay, so this is a chart of Nifty 50 in front of us. This is the monthly chart. Okay, and we are seeing the data right from the very beginning, from 1990 till late 2023. So in this condition, let's take a small example. Let's say there were two phases, okay? There was phase number one, that is A, okay? And there's phase number two, that is uh, B, okay? There are two, let's take it as two conditions, different conditions. So let's say, for example, you have, would have had one lakh rupees in your account and you would have invested your money at the point of condition A, okay? And you have one more area where you have one more lakh rupees to invest and that you invest at point B, okay? So now, if we see this uh, growth of Nifty from point A, till the 2008's high that is an increment of 5400 points whereas if we see the b point if we would have invested let's say at the bottom our one lakh rupees and let's say we would have sold our nifty at the high of 20,151. so if we see the condition a and condition b condition b has a huge rally uh, it has huge gain so it has a gain of 12,593 points okay and if you see condition a it has growth of 5700 uh, 5471 points so naturally when we see this data we always get inclined towards the condition b because the condition b has actually gained the more number of points and definitely it would have given us more return this type of chart which we are seeing seeing currently in front of is called a linear chart or an arithmetic chart so arithmetic chart is a type of chart which focuses more on the number of points gained okay let's say the one lakh rupees in condition and uh, a and condition b Let's say if we see the growth in terms of percentage. Condition A has given you 605% return investment. Okay. If we see condition B, condition B has given us return of 166%. So if you would have invested in 1 lakh rupees at condition B, it, you would have just made like you know more 1.6 lakh rupees on top of it. And if you would have invested your money 1 lakh rupees at condition A, then you would have made 605% return investment. Means your 1 lakh rupee would have become 6 lakh rupees. Okay. Let's just avoid the time factor for a moment. Let's just focus on the price factor. So there are two different things that come out. Condition A looks very small in terms of points gain, but percentage gain was very high. Okay. So there are two types of charts. One is linear and one is log. So log chart is a kind of a function which actually focuses more on the percentage gain rather than the price gain or the number of points increased. Okay, so when we see the linear chart that is in front of us, if you see the incremental structure on the right side, it is having 1000, 2000, 3000, 4000, every 1000 point increment is shown. So naturally from, let's say in this move, there are 12,500 points gain. So it looks very big on the chart. Okay, and compared to A, it is only 5000, so it's looking, appearing a bit small. Now, there is a function in trading view. If you click on the settings on the right bottom, you will see a, a function called logarithmic. Okay, so if you press logarithmic, logarithmic data will show you, it will highlight the area where the percentage gain is more rather than the points gain. Okay, so it focuses on the increment of the percentage. So if we go to log chart, the chart would change a bit and it would look something different. Okay, so I'll press logarithmic chart and just see how the chart, you know, changes. So this is the log functionality. So when I press the log functionality, the chart has completely changed. This again, if I Take, untick the logarithmic uh, you know function the chart will again change to arithmetic the shortcut to this is you can press the alt button on your keyboard and press l it will change it to log linear log linear so what happens is when you see the log data now if we see this both the comparison this was the point a by the way okay and this was point b now if you see the chart it is actually showing point b very small though it has gained a huge amount of points and point A looks really big. So the reason why it is amplifying the point A and it is not showing the point B bigger is because it is focusing now on the percentage gain part. So the chart is exactly the same, the open high low close, everything is the same. The only thing is the logarithmic chart is focusing more on where the percentage gain has happened a lot. You know, where is the potential of making more money in terms of percentage. So uh, the percentage growth is shown largely and it is not focusing too much on the B side. But at the same point, if you would have change it to the logarith uh, the linear function then the chart changes completely so this function focuses on the percentage that is log and the function that focuses more on the points gain is a linear chart okay so let me show you one more uh, uh, different asset class 
let's see solana let's a uh, cryptocurrency so if we see solana the same uh, condition would appear in front of you if you see this this is a huge and an exponential growth this is a 237 dollar point rally the, and if you see from the bottom it feels that there was a consolidation and there was no movement at all so you feel that there is no movement as such compared to the current move so in this scenario this chart that we are seeing is currently a, a linear chart if i switch it to the logarithmic chart the chart would look something like this this is the logarithmic chart so this is the linear chart okay so now in this case if you switch to logarithmic chart the bottom area which we had marked recently had shown more percentage of gain you know compared to the condition that was higher in terms of the points gained so from this point to this point the gain is almost 5000% and if you take it to the full height it is almost 24000% okay so even if i take it till this height it is 5620% and if i take it from this low it is just 1200% so when i take the linear function it's showing me that this move is currently bigger than this but in terms of percentage that move was quite bigger in terms of it's just in terms of percentage that is why it's showing amplifying that data okay so now this log n linear function shows us very different data but what is the use of it so let's say for example if i'm seeing any data on the chart and if i want to see a long term data uh, the price if you see it on the linear uh, functionality it will show you the old data very uh, you know like it will show that it's in sideways it will not amplify that data because the point wise gain was very less here compared to this area okay so you when you see that data you feel it was a sideways market and there was no movement at all so when you go to logarithmic functions when you when people want to see uh the large amount of data okay let's say if you want to see dow jones history from for the last 100 years okay so it is practically impossible to see the entire data clearly if you are in the uh, linear chart functionality so in this linear chart functionality if you see the older data it looks like it was consolidating okay i'll just switch to monthly chart so it feels like us market was completely in sideways from 1896 to uh 1986 and then there was a rally but let me switch this to now the log function so i'll go to this and press the logarithmic chart the chart would change completely so log chart is basically used by analysts to to see the past data very clearly and perfectly it shows you the data very well okay so that is one advantage uh, there is one more thing that is very important in this functionality that is when you draw let's say if you are a price action trader <coughs> you don't make use of indicators <coughs> but you make use of uh, trend lines or any other tool, or retracement or all such things, okay so let's say if i personally draw trend lines a lot okay and i'm in the logarithmic function right now so when i see the log function it shows me different data sets different data points from where i can plot my trend line so i'm just drawing my trend line from one low to the other this is a normal function to draw any trend line and this is the resistance that i marked okay so naturally my chart is telling me that the current resistance that is going to come up is at 33 and the lower support is going to come at 6000 so that is this is what the data is showing me but if what if i change it to linear chart if i change the function to linear you can see the trend line has completely changed okay the trend line the lows which we were seeing are the perfect matching lows same thing in linear is showing a very different picture okay so in my experience a uh, linear chart that is the by default chart that is there in the trading view software is the best uh, one to see while you are analyzing and if you are using trend line it is the best okay indicator based and moving average based system still don't have any problem because it's just plotted on the chart so in this case what happens is that if by chance if you are plotting some trend line and if you don't know that your functionality has changed from log to linear your entire analysis could go on toss uh this the reason why we need to know this function is that uh, there are many softwares where instead of linear the log chart is actually the by default setting okay so let's say if you are drawing your trend lines on trading view okay and you are drawing it on linear chart and let's say one fine day you change your software and you go to some other system or other software where the default setting is at the log chart so what will happen is you will keep on drawing your trend lines but your breakouts will fail and you will not get the right support and resistance when you are drawing trend lines so uh, that is why it is very important for a trader to know these functionalities and the difference between you know the log and linear chart it could completely change the view of your uh, analysis and it could completely you know give you a very different perspective uh, if you are drawing any trend lines or you know those kind of tools or if you are using gain or any other model you know where you are plotting your data directly on the highs and lows of the chart so uh, this is the key functionality and every uh, professional trader should know that what is the different and make the right choice while trading so personally if i am trading i always use the linear chart function and to check that function you can always go and check whether the logarithmic chart is 
at the take mark or not so it should ideally be off i hope you guys found the video informative and helpful for more such videos kindly subscribe to our channel